Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gale Report. I would like to present you one of my Looker Studio templates um, for organic and paid traffic. I recommend this report for agencies. It's here. Google Analytics for ACO and paid traffic report for online store. Um, because when you work as an agency, um, often you, you are responsible for paid or for organic of both types of traffic. And it, it's not necessary to show other types of traffic. So this report is for that. I already opened it. Uh, dashboard contains four pages. If you click edit and can check manage edit data sources, I connected this dashboard to Google Analytics demo account. If you don't have uh, it yet, you can just type in Google, Google Analytics demo account, you will first link will be this one. Just find in this article links and install add to your Gmail. Um, also, I have here a Google Search Console site and URL data and Google Ads data. This is sample data sources that everybody has how, who works with Looker Studio that provided them for free. Um, when, if, or when you buy my template, just change your, these data sources to your real one, to your real Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and Google Ads. And you can start to use this dashboard. Um, this dashboard contains organic and paid traffic. If you go to filters, you can see this, that I use paid and organic traffic, organic only and paid only um, filters. I use first user default channel grouping contains organic or paid. Paid. Um, also, I use here current page settings. Oh. Ah, now I got it. Mm, I use paid filters here. For the first page, I use paid and organic traffic data sources together. Dashboard loads really slow, I agree, because of Google Analytics demo account. When you connect your real one, it will be faster. But yes, for demo account, still sometimes we have some issues. I will reload it. Yeah, it's pain. Okay, mm, let's move to the view mode. Um, as I mentioned, on this page, on the first page, you have a filters that um, you can see only paid and organic traffic. So you have all active users. It means all organic and paid users. Uh, you can see separately users, uh, organic and separately paid users. Purchases, the same, or purchases revenue, same, both traffic channels together and separately, and number of purchases. Mm, together and separately. Uh, then we can see user behavior metrics by channel type. Uh, channels types, uh, channel types here, I mean organic and paid, so it could be organic search or organic social or paid search, paid social. Here there is not paid social, but you, uh, you can find, you can see paid video. Um, so you can see traffic breakdown by channels um, and you have same, some main KPIs um, in the table. If you want to change it, you can update it if you need. Then we have user uh, active users breakdown. We can see uh, device breakdown, gender breakdown, age and countries. Mm, what is not nice here is that the biggest part of users, uh, we don't know, not age, not gender. Mm, yeah. Um, that is it about the first page. Uh, by default here you have last 30 days not included today, so till yesterday, but again, you can change it. On the second page, we have some e-commerce e -commerce data together for organic and paid traffic. Oh, why, why? Um, here we have filters already, uh, and we can split data by 
traffic channel and we can split traffic by item category for online store. Mm. Again, here we have organic and paid traffic data together. Uh, we have main e-commerce metrics like uh, number of purchases, conversion rate, revenue, and average order value. Actually, main data. Uh, here, we have number of purchases split by month and by channels. When you see this icon, you can change this e-commerce number of purchases to revenue. And this table will be updated. And you see how your revenue changes or number of purchases change it um, over time, month by month. Yeah, this is Google Analytics for account loading really slow. So it's not comfortable to work. Mm, but with others, uh, Google Analytics account, it's fine. Uh, okay, still it's loading. We can change. Uh, we can check the last table on the commerce page. It is product performance, and we can see item brands, category, item ID, and item name, and some metrics for each item. So we can see number of viewed, number of promotion, uh, number of viewed in promotion, checkout purchases. So we can see the Mm, this Google Campus bike was viewed like almost 1,000 times, uh, but only one purchased. Mm, opposite, we can see that something wrong with views here. We have a lot of purchases, but no views. Um, yeah, it's demo account. For sure, you will have different data with your real one. You see, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And again, I wanted to present this nice template and uh, Google doesn't allow me. So stupid. Um, but it is a good illustration of why I like to pull data to BigQuery or Google Sheets. Um, because I can pull to Looker Studio only few amount of data that it is not net, it is necessary to pull uh, and report loading faster so nice illustration of that okay on the third page of the dashboard we have separately organic traffic data here we have filters as well we have channel group we can split by organic search and organic social mm, organic search it's google for example, organic social, it's Facebook, for example, uh, or LinkedIn. And we can split by source medium. We have two filters. Uh, we have some active users, new users, engagement rate, bonds rate, average session duration, e-commerce purchases, purchases revenue, and first-time purchases. Um, also, what is interesting here, uh, we can see break down same metrics as uh, we have on the top of the page. Uh, we have breakdown by source medium, first user source medium. Um, and we can see that mostly people buy for the first time. Interesting. Uh, this is Google Analytics data and uh, we finish the page with Google Search Console data. Here we have impressions in Google Search, clicks, average position and site CTR. We can filter data by queries. Uh, and below we have tables with queries uh, to see separately each query and statistics for landing pages on the website. Um, this is about organic traffic. And the last page is similar to organic traffic, but we talk about page traffic and especially about Google Ads. Mm, here we have channel grouping only page search. If we have page social, you will see here page social as well. In source medium, we have only Google CPC. We don't have other types of page traffic here. Uh, and we can see this, the same K metrics as their ECO page. Here, same table, same logic here. 
Um, below, we can see Google Ads Overview with Campaign Filter to split data, to check data for um, specific campaigns. Here we have cost, impressions, clicks, CTR, CPC, conversions, conversion rate, and cost per conversion, and breakdown by, comp by campaign type, campaign, and group name. That is it. I think this dashboard is super easy, super simple. We have only main KPIs. We have four pages, yes, but they're short. And we have really main KPIs. So if you need to simple dashboard to present um, main data from your work with paid traffic and organic traffic, I think this dashboard is really nice. So you don't have extra information, but what you exactly need, you have here. So simple, fast to read, fast to use. And if you buy, it's fast to start to use. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Let me know about it. Let me know if you have questions. Please give me likes, comments, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.